Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. We last left off after uh, completing a bunch of challenges in the Hall of the Novice, which was a uh, preparation to make sure we were ready for uh, our first dungeon, which is the Seagrot Sastasha, if I recall correctly. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get ourselves queued up for this dungeon and get this show on the road. Uh, I expect this will probably take up most of uh, the half an hour that I allot myself for an episode. So uh, we'll see whether we can get that in. And if not, we'll uh, try and finish up at the end if uh, if we've got any spare time. Right. So, first things first. Just need to hit U to bring up your duty finder. And uh, Sastasha. And click join. Now I'm a conjurer healer class, so my Q is pretty much instant. Really handy. <laughs> Just waiting for the tank to ready up. And uh, once he's ready, uh, we'll all be uh, ported in. And we should get cutscenes straight away here. I'll uh, let you guys uh, watch this. I think uh, every dungeon, at least in a Ron Reborn, has a uh, little introductory uh, video where uh, could seem like that. But uh, yeah, the only thing is, is uh, if you're watching those cutscenes, it does actually uh, mean that the rest of the group can't start the dungeon until your cutscenes finish running. So after you've seen it the first time, you might want to uh, skip them just for to uh, speed things up for yourself and keep things running smoothly for your party. Clearing instance raids, uh, come with several rules, time limits and restrictions, can be left at any time using an exit or stick and leave from the duty finder. Uh, but doing so will be abandoning your party in the process. Uh, once boss has been engaged, players are unable to leave there so you're locked in. Uh, if you're locked out, you'll have to uh, revive your other party members or, uh, if, or wait for somebody to be raised. And I'm forgetting to heal like a moron. <laughs> My race spell gone. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Right, uh, what we got here? Bloody memo. You find a bloodstained scrap of parchment with a message scrolled upon it in faded ink. The captain likes his wine red. And I believe that's a clue to uh, to a little puzzle later on. It's not much of a puzzle, but yeah. <laughs> Limit breaks. Uh, powerful actions. Uh, when the party. Uh, the gauge will slowly fill as battle progresses, while certain acts of heroism, such as curing an ally, will on the brink of death prevent an enemy from using its special attack, will cause the counter gate to rise faster. Um, I guess I'll uh, have to read that later, as um, it's causing too much of a distraction for me keeping my tank alive. <laughs> and uh, up here at the left there, the uh, party list. Green is your healer, blue is a uh, tank, and this brownish red colour is uh, the DPS. Right, joining a party, uh, join a party with another player, uh, yep, party chat will can be used with other members, uh, do, do, do. party list is displayed at the left, uh, will be awarded boosts to various attributes based on class and job combinations, uh, will be indicated by party bonus icon, and of course they're all real people so don't be a douchebag. To them basically. <laughs> but that's pretty obvious, but it still likes to let you know in case uh, you're really new to uh, MMOs, which I doubt there'll be many of you guys. Right, hopefully uh, not too many more of those uh, tutorial messages as uh, they're quite distracting from uh, my keeping the party alive. And that's just the time limit over on the right there. I don't think I've ever had one expire, apart from maybe when uh, there's been a lot of wipes in the dungeons. <laughs> and as a healer, if uh, there's not too much going on, of course, uh, yeah, pretty much expected to do a little bit of uh, DPS where you can to help out. Just uh, don't neglect uh, keeping, your, keeping your tank and your party alive. <laughs> And these guys, these giant clans, I believe they're only vulnerable to damage when they're open, like they are right now. 
Uh, oh, there we go. Nobody needing heals. That's good. Sometimes it can be uh, quite hectic as well as uh, we've been older content, a lot of more experienced players that run them, uh, they get downscaled in level, but because they know them inside out and it's all that stuff, they just want to uh, speed through and go really, really fast. This uh, run is actually quite a uh, quite a moderately uh, play paced run, so it's uh, quite comfortable for to uh, remember how things are going. That, yeah, that comes down. Didn't mean to open my map there. <laughs> right. Oop. Let the tank go first. Uh, oop. The shell's open. Not ready yet. There we go. And stone before he closes. Can we get one in? Nope, we couldn't. Oh well, never mind. Oop. My tank's going down. <laughs> Won't be a little bit naughty, yeah, pull that uh, Shade Seeker in front. You shouldn't really uh, do that at all in uh, dungeons, I've sometimes got a bit of a terrible habit of doing that myself. <laughs> Basically, uh, if you're pulling first, you're going to uh, most likely die first if you're not the tank. <laughs> Because, of course, uh, you're getting all the fret before the tanks had a chance to build any up. Not doing uh, too badly here. I think the DPS might be a little bit on the low side, but uh, we don't really worry about that sort of thing here. Getting a uh, little bit croaky today. <laughs> Just keep an eye on the uh, tank's health while I'm doing this uh, damage. Right, now this here, the red, blue and green formations, this is the very minor uh, puzzle, if you remember the uh, Captain likes his wine uh, blood red or something I think they said. So you click the red one and that'll spawn the boss in. There he goes, Sura Quali, the other player. Clicking the red one. And I believe if you click the wrong coloured one it's actually uh, spawns in trash mobs for you to kill. And I believe this here is the boss. Get him topped off quickly. He's not taking too much damage, but uh, obviously we want him as uh, high as possible. He's losing health. Oh, nope, didn't get cast a healer. Uh, yep, the tank's going to soak that up. That's probably not the best of ideas, but a tank, I suppose, can get away with it a little bit. Right, and that's him uh, dealt with. And there's the uh, treasure coffer, the uh, loot from the boss fight. Uh, we'll need that, and I think we'll need that as well. Loot rules, pretty standard stuff. If you need it, need it. If you don't need it, uh, greet it. And if you've already got an item, which uh, sometimes happens quite common when you've got a, a lot of items in around these dungeons before, you can only have one copy of each piece of loot. So in that case, of course, you would just have to pass. And uh, you have to wait for everybody else to have made their rule before, uh, before it gets assigned. And of course, the timer for how long uh, other people have got to remember to roll on it before uh, they get excluded from the loot list and then automatically gets assigned. Alright, and we need to get our tank healed very quickly here. Uh, should be a lot of uh, extra mobs coming in on this fight, I believe. He calls in uh, dogs as backup. At the moment, we're killing them pretty quick. <laughs> yep, there he goes running off. We'll uh, face him again later on. Bit more loot, uh, plunder Kiros. Obviously, I don't need that, so I can't e actually need even if I want to because it's not for my class. So we'll uh, just put a greed on that. 
maybe uh, make some cash with it later on if nobody else uh, wins it on a need roll. We're heading up to the left there, just in the back. One of those two guards at the gate. Oh, not keeping an eye on my tank. <laughs> You're not going to die, thank you very much. There we go. Oh, he's went out of line of sight. Uh, okay, we'll grab him again. Right, there we go. Finish this guy. Right. Lead the way. Wait for the tank to catch up and oh, open. Need the uh, captain's quarters key. And that'll let us into this room here. As you can see, captain's quarters on the door. There we go, that's that unlocked, and I believe this guy is classed as a boss, or maybe a mini boss, as we don't get locked in. Alright, maybe get a heal on him before uh, anything else. There we go. Pretty powerful heals. Wait for a gate key. And that allows us access to the next section of the dungeon, which is uh, a corridor filled with uh, trash mobs, and the final boss at the very end. that and forward we go dead man's drink oh no was I wrong uh, I think there's another uh, trash pack it looks like because this is the uh, boss barrier as soon as you see that you always know you're entering a boss room ah this is the one that I was thinking about that uh, calls in the dogs as reinforcements got a little bit ahead of myself earlier <laughs> Wow, tank's taking a lot of damage on this fight. <laughs> uh, don't get too far away from me, otherwise uh, you might be out of range of my spells. <laughs> there you go, there's the back of the dogs that he calls in. healing after this uh, storm cast. Alright, looks like we're on top of things now. Alright, uh, I'm not sure that this is the correct way. Yeah, turn around guys, I think we're going the wrong way if you go that way. <laughs> not entirely sure what's up there, I think it's uh, just purely a uh, dead end, nothing interesting in there. I could be wrong though. <laughs> Now here's the long corridor I was talking about with the trash mobs. And the boss is just down at the right, the very far right. You see the tower in the distance on the left? It's to the left of there. Let's get a heal in before we lose our tank. Damage you, Mr. Tank. I think he's uh, pulled uh, more than one pack, which is why he's taking so much extra damage. But uh, never mind, we can keep him up. <laughs> right. And this is the last pack before the boss. You can actually see him over there in the distance this guy with the shield and the uh, weird bat. You sully our spawning grounds, Shaw Walker. Right, here we go. The Lord of the Wall shall sup up your souls. Yeah, I can't really say that. Have a 
I recall correctly, uh, let's see, where are they? Those little hatches have uh, tentacles pop out of them every so often, and they need to be uh, killed down to uh, prevent them from doing too much damage to the group. You see there's the bubbling on one of them, that one's about to open any time. Chances are the uh, boss might die before uh, it gets to that stage though. we're going to uh, see that mechanic because uh, we're doing it pretty quick <laughs> oh nope there's one of them just opened up you see a uh, baleen guard popped out all over the place I got the magic stick too I'm guessing that's uh, for leveling up to level 20 perhaps <laughs> we'll find out Uh, play a commendation where you can leave a where you can commend a party member who left a positive impression uh, well up here and you just click that down there at the bottom left and you leave it with whoever you thought was a good player being skillful polite whatever you think whatever and uh, oh, accumulate over time and if you receive a certain amount you can unlock achievements and grant uh, certain rewards I believe that's uh, something like 400 uh, you can claim a mount for yourself so uh, tanks have a very easy time getting that mount as tanks are almost always given the uh, player commendation if uh, everybody else has been uh, a bit of a pain although they tend to get anyways healers and tanks get a lot of the time I'm not sure if I got one myself there so I had my chat log turned off um, I don't think I did by the looks of things <laughs> yeah looking at the chat log doesn't look like I got anything <laughs> right and uh, agreed on that, and we don't need that, that's for a different class, the Arcanist and Summoner, and that's a uh, melee class as item, so agreed on that again. And we'll just head out of here, and I think there might be a little bit of story towards the end of this. Nope, no story to finish up on. But uh, we do have the main story quest to hand in, now where do we need to put this uh, map? Back in Limsalo Mince. Oh, no, where the heck's that? I did not select that location. Uh, right. Now, where's the main A for right plaza? Upper decks. Now, we could go there for a cost, which I think we will do, yeah. Money's not really an issue for me. As I say, I've got my uh, main character that I can supply with, uh, that I can use to supply this guy with. Extra cash if I'm running short. <laughs> right, so whereabouts was it in Limsa that I had to hand this in? Uh, it is... where is it? Ah, there it is. So, the aft castle. If not, the aft castle. Uh, right, and it's behind us. So we'll just get a sprint going on. And it should be batter on, yeah, batter on. Aye, such a task was on the books. Wars, mind. I'm afraid that ship has already sailed, friend. Ah, might you be the adventurer who accepted the job of investigating Sastasha? I am indeed, yes. Hmph. <laughs> it would seem that ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbour. None the worse for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. No matter. The wheel will turn and our chance will come. You are right, of course, but there shall be no rest till we have attained our goal, lofty though it may be. Not a wink of sleep, great leader. Our aim, lest you wonder, is to perform such feats of heroism as will earn us a place in the songs of every alehouse in Eorzea. We mean to write a legend which will inspire adventurers as yet unborn to follow our shining example. 
Do you have such a goal? Large or small, it matters not. Only have a star to reach for and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through times of hardship. Keep your eye on the prize and all obstacles will be overcome in time. You would not think to stride into battle unclad, would you? Well, ghouls are as arms and armour for the spirit. I wish you fortune in your endeavours, sir. Back then, are you? With all your limbs and a tail to tell, I'll wager. Fish backs. And there I was thinking you'd only have to crack a pirate skull or three. Seven L's. You turn your back for five bloody minutes and the scaly bastards have set up shop on your bleeding doorstep. Still, sounds like you left them in pieces, so I don't suppose they'll be carrying out whatever mischief they was planning. Unless they was planning on feeding themselves to the fauna or so stash for a course. Any road, all's well that ends well. On behalf of Limsa, I thank you for shedding some light on this mystery. You've lived up to your reputation and I couldn't ask for no more than that. Now I'll bet you're dying for a rest, but just in case you're not, I was wondering if you might be interested in taking on, another, taking on another job. It just so happens that I've had a request from our sister guild in Gridan, you see? Seems the forest folk are in need of a venture what can get things done. For them to ask for help like this, you can bet the task won't be no skip through a sunny glade, but after the way you dealt with our fishback infestation, I doubt it's anything you can't handle. Give us a shout when you're ready, and I'll lay it out for you. Okie dokie, uh, complete that. And see what we've got next. Ready to hear about that job then? Like I said, the request comes from our sister guild in Gridania. And that's all I know. But whatever it is you get asked to do, I somehow doubt it'd pose any trouble for adventurer as survived the bedlam in Sastasha. If you think you might be interested, you'll have to have words with Mother Mune, my counterpart in Gridania. Good luck, mate. Okie dokie, off to Gridania it is, and looking at my level down at the bottom here, level 21, we're ready for the uh, Conjurer's Quest. Um, now let's see, quickest way to get to Gridania. Um, we could just teleport, which would cost us a lot of money, but I think we'll be better off uh, using the airship landing. Although I think this time we will actually use the uh, return spell to get there. I'm not sure how far we are into this video as I actually forgot to set my uh, timer. <laughs> so this might be overrunning, I'm honestly not too sure. Um, so I'll tell you what we'll do, is uh, seeing as I know that most dungeons take approximately 15-20 minutes and that doesn't leave much time for any other content, we'll head off to the Conjurer's Guild and we'll call it an episode once we get there, that's a nice clean uh, starting point for the next episode. Just uh, come down here, back to uh, still blade fame. Gonna have to get uh, used to saying that, aren't I? I can have a bit of a uh, struggle saying that sometimes. <laughs> oh wait, hang on, it wasn't still glade fame, it was uh, Mother Mune at the Carlene Campy. That's what I get for uh, not reading things. Uh, oh wait, actually, well actually we'll go down here anyways, because there should be a new uh, Conjurer quest here regardless, even though we haven't been told about it. <laughs> Yeah, there it is on the mini-map there. Sylphie's Trials. So we'll just park ourselves here. And we'll see you guys next time.